everyone, it's Daphne. We are working on page three of Midnight Tales. And this is gonna be a simple page. We've got a top down flap and a pocket. So the pocket is four and a half by nine. Four and a half by nine. You're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides. Oops. That was my score tool, not my pick tool. And this is going to go flush on the bottom of the page. Hello, Nala. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Such a cutie. Yes. It is a steaming hot day here in San Diego. Very, very high humidity. It's uh, quite unusual for us because we're really a, a desert. <laughs> okay, the top flap, top down flap is five and a half by eight. Five and a half by eight. You're gonna score half inch on the five and a half inch side. And then um, this flap will extend over your pocket, which will make it easy to put a magnet on it. to hold everything closed. That went on a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna to try to fix it by adjusting the score slightly. And that did the trick. Okay, so I've got my magnets. I'm gonna get my fat tape. Fat tape being 5 8 The magnet itself is 3 8 So, I'm gonna put a little pencil mark here so I know that my magnet has to go above this and below that, so I'm just gonna center it. Um, actually, yeah. I wanna be careful because I'm, I'm, my paper needs to cover my magnet completely here, but also on the flip side. And there we go. All right, so that is it for the interactive elements for page three. Um, I'm gonna do some inserts for this, um, but that's it for page three, it's very simple. So I'll be back shortly with the designer paper. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm just getting my papers lined up for page three. So we're gonna go ahead and start decorating these. So that's what the inside's gonna look like. I'm gonna do a little bit of color blocking uh, right here. I'm gonna add these stamps, and I'm gonna trim this down to fit. But let's go ahead and get started on these two inside pieces, which are already trimmed and ready to go. And it. She just came to see me. She has to make a oof when she lays down <laughs> just to make sure I know she's there. It's very humid here and the one thing I like about it is it does give me some extra time to maneuver my papers and I like that. Okay, so these two are gonna go like so. And it actually goes this way. It's a continuous pattern that I cut in half. And this is not inked. I got interrupted, my husband called, and I was in the ink process and I missed this one. So this doesn't need to be trimmed, so I'm gonna put it down. And then we're gonna lay this one down and then we're gonna trim a piece to fit there. Uh, patterns and solids, eek. Eight by eight. So the pumpkins are from the eight by eight collection pack. Okay, 
Now this one's gonna go right here and then we're gonna trim out a piece of paper to go on top and it's gonna match the same pattern that's on the pocket. So we'll pull the whole thing together. Actually, I don't need to put anything on that. It's not gonna cover it up yet. That'll be the next step. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on because we're not ready. Okay, and then on the top, we're gonna add our stamps. This is from the 8x8 collection pack, so it's the smaller stamps. I tried both. The big stamps just look too big. And if you cut this out of your 8x8 and you trim a little on both ends, you don't really have to cut through a stamp. Um, you cut into the frame of the stamp, but you don't have to cut through a stamp. So that was the other reason I chose from the 8x8 collection pack. There we go. I love these. I love their stamps. I always find a way to use them. I just think they look great. Sometimes I cut them apart and just use them as elements on the cover. Um, but I just, I enjoy them. Okay, so now we are ready to measure this because it's going to be trimmed to fit. I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like it's a little bit crooked, so I am going to take a tiny bit more off one side. That is the A side. Now we still need to cut a strip here. So I've got this paper. I think it's the right height. Yeah. So I just need to trim a strip off. Ink it and we'll cover up that magnet. I'm hoping when I'm finished, I'm gonna have some orange paper or green paper left from the patterns and solids to do the insert for this. Since this is so, um, is such a strong pattern, I want whatever's in the pocket to be um, a little simpler, but we'll see. Um, I mean, this is page three, I've got a ways to go. <laughs> there we go. Again, this is Patterns and Solids. These two are from the 8x8. Eight eight. And Patterns and Solids, 8x8, 8x8. Eight eight, eight 
so that covers it. So that's it for page three. That was really fast, uh, even with a little bit of color blocking. I think it looks beautiful. And then of course we'll have um, something in the pocket. I still have a couple of the six by six cut aparts that I definitely want to mount and place in pockets. So one of those might wind up in this pocket as well. So that's it for page three. Be back soon, guys.